respond to MI6. I've arrived at the solar facility. Good work, Bond. And, James, when you confront 006, bear in mind, Trevelyan knows full well the penalty for treason in the United Kingdom is life imprisonment. He's got nothing to live for. Be careful, 007. I've lost one agent. I don't want to lose another. MI6 out. Hey guys, welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Goldeneye Reloaded on the 360. In the last part we went through the jungle, we took out Xenia, who, you know, that crazy woman. Who's actually not that crazy in this game, she's just a waitress and then she's around. Like, she just, she's about, and fog her. And that's about it, that's all she's got in this game. Got toned down a little bit, which is fine, I don't mind. I never really liked her that much anyway. But now we are in the facility, not facility, and it's in a different facility. Well, it is a facility, it's just not the that one. It's a different one. Don't be confused, it, this is the solar one. Can this turret turn around? Can it? No, it cannot. What a stupid idiot. Oh god, some kind of... Okay, which way is he facing? Yeah, you, you walk away. Oh god. <laughs> I was going to say, why wasn't my turret shooting? Pretty sure it should have been shooting people right then. Right, are these two guys in this room gonna come out of that room? Oh, where's he going? Don't come this way. Oh, that's... That's unnecessary. Take him out, turret. And these people, too. You see that one at the... Yeah! Now kill the other one. Or don't. Good. What a, what a good turret. <laughs> oh... See, it's really weird this section of the game, so of course this is a long, long corridor. Because if you know first person shooters, they love their long corridors. It's quite hard to find one where you're not just walking down a long corridor. But then you have all these turrets you can hack into. But it's like, it just gives away your cover. So, I'm not quite sure why you would. Like, you can! And it can be helpful. And I just did it, so... <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much, but still, it's, it's like all these guys know exactly where I am now. Like, they all just knew exactly where I was. Which I think is a bit unfair, but whatevs. That's what I say. Oh, God. Don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. Kaboom! Right. See, I, I, it's really weird. Like, you can push over these boxes to give you cover from these two turrets here. But it's like the first time that's been in the whole game. Like, this, this game's gimmick has never been create, um, you know, create uh, things for yourself, create um, cover for yourself. That is, that's never been the case. But in this game, or for this one section, you have to do it. So, it's a bit weird. You would never think to do this, but, yeah, that's what you got to do. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to get some more guys spawning in. Good. Now, I don't know if... See, I don't know. I don't think the game actually wants you to be stealthy for this section. Oh, that blew up. Cool. Yeah, I don't think the game wants you to be stealthy because then this, the end of this corridor, you just have a ton of guys that spawn and you have to take them out, which is weird because it does feel like the game wants you to be stealthy, but then instantly not. I don't know. I don't think I've ever managed to do that corridor without being detected. So maybe like, there's just something I don't know. Who's down there? Don't run. Where are you going? <laughs> well, he's dead now, but... Uh, what an odd fellow. Uh, no, I don't want this gun, actually. This gun's horrendous. Let's get this one. There we go. Because we got some more stealth in to do, but... Still, it's nice to have a machine gun. We're going to need one for later, so that's why I picked it up. Oh! Yeah, I'm really curious to see what this corridor would be like if you hadn't alerted the enemies, or if it's possible to. That's something I really should have tried out, but whatever. <laughs> I get it, it's in the original GoldenEye padlocks, but really, in a solar facility like this, there's a little padlock. Alright, whatever, I'll go with it. MI6 to bot. I'm downloading the blueprints now. There's a cooling plant just to the north of your current position. 
You'll need to plant explosives there to destabilize the main facility. Tanner out. Good thinking, Tanner. We're, we're gonna get all over that. Like, just, just all over it. Right, so now we have a pretty nice looking area, actually. This area looks pretty nice. Kind of. Well, there's a lot of glare, but still. <laughs> See, if you want, you can wait for him to go all the way across the bridge and then take him out. Or take him out later. But, no, he's standing right there. He took his sweet time just being like, Oh, this is nice. Solar energy. We're going to save the planet. Then, of course, you got to shoot him in the head. Right, so now we've got a lot of guards down here. But they gave you a sniper rifle, so... Yeah, you gotta just snipe these guys. And like I mentioned, I really like the sniper in this game, so I'm all for this. Although when we go down there, a ton more enemies are gonna spawn in. Which is always fun. And, oh, I discovered something about the controls. So we've got pistol, this, this. But what if I want to go straight to my machine gun? Okay, that straight to, straight to my. Ma there we go. Look, that counted. <laughs> if you double tap Y, then it um jumps twice, because you can hold three weapons. But of course, in the middle of a gunfight, you don't really want to be shuffling. Yeah, solar energy. Yeah, you don't want to be shuffling for your weapons. So, see, and with these, they're very confusing. Look, there's a little thing saying warning, keep area clear. Then some guy's being pushed by one, it looks like. So I think you can put, use these to kill enemies. It's just very circumstantial. Like, I'm going to try it with these next guys. Oh, see, look. I've, yeah, we got some guys right there. And ready, go! Yeah, very circumstantial. <laughs> Not at all clear. Right. See, guarding stuff 101, always separate. Always gotta separate. You can cover more ground and you definitely won't get murdered. Like this fellow. Yeah, hmm. See, we got the rocket launcher here. And it could be really useful, but I know it's not. Because you can't get rid of the pistol. Uh, the, the machine gun is just useful to have if things go wrong. And then the sniper rifle is also really good because it's got a silencer on it so you can take out enemies silently so I don't quite get why there's a rocket launcher there unless there's just something I don't know but I don't believe that for a second there we go <laughs> I don't know what those corpses were doing they seem to do some press ups for a second but I don't know a couple of weirdos if you ask me alright let's get these futuristic explosives very very high tech stuff they go boom when when you want them to go boom. Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. I don't have time to waste. Those bodies did it too. Did I just not notice it that they do those that weird thing like a seal or something where they just like bounce and get curved? I, I don't know how I never noticed that before. They look really weird. Okay, so I need to mention this quickly. Again, this is another completely new level, and I do like this level, it's kind of annoying in places, but I do like this level, but yeah, it's, if you're kind of looking at the percentages of new levels to old levels, this is a completely new one, and this kind of tilts the, the percentage or the balance a bit in the wrong direction, you know, because we just played Jungle, which is based off an old one. But then before that we played Memorial. Because you don't you want it to be less than 50-50, right? Like you want more than 50% of the levels to be based off um the old ones. Like, right? It's a remake. But and I don't I should probably check, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's at least 50-50. I'm gonna check. In between parts I'll check and let you guys know, but either way, something is awry. That's for sure. Right, so this is a whole big stealth section, and I recommend you be stealthy, but look at this! It's just uh, no enemies, I'm just going to go into the next room, yah dee da dee da ooh, having, just going over, oh, two enemies just spawned! <laughs> Not even, okay, I am joking and messing around, but two enemies just spawn here, on this side. 
is the weirdest thing. I don't get why the enemies just couldn't just be there straight away. Nope, you didn't see anything. Because I got caught out by this the first time. Two enemies spawning right here. I just ran in and then I got spotted. I was not happy. Okay, so now this is the ob uh, the additional objective we have to do. Bond, we've detected that half of their SAM sites are now offline. Yeah, we just gotta disable these two things. And this room is parallel, so there's another one over there. But this can be really annoying because with with the smartphone, you do this. Then you're like, you know, you get the indicator. Oh, where's the thing? Actually, I'll show it in this next one. I'll get over there. Oh, oh, oh dear. Having a, having a nice time there, great. Oh dear, that's... Oh, all the way around, all the way around. <laughs> oh dear. Well, they tried. Good for them for trying, anyway. Okay, we got quite a lot of ammo for this sniper, so I say we use it. Come on, where is he? Boom. Because it's a one-shot kill as well, it's really, really fun to use. Boom. And right, let's just go over there. Cause it's still um I still want to keep some sniper ammo. Oh see look those two guys spawned again. Oh god. Let's just sneak around, no one has to know. Just shoot this guy in the head, just keep it keep it under wraps. Okay, if I take out that camera. Where is this guy? There he is, doing henchman computing. See, look, it's like, oh, I, I don't know where the thing is. Wait, where is it, actually? <laughs> okay, so you got this smartphone like this, and then it's like, oh, where is it? The game's telling me it's here, and then it turns out you just got to do this, and there it is. Really hard to see and to spot. I've wasted a lot of time trying to find those. Bond, their aerial defenses are down. Support is en route. Nice. I don't think that means anything. I think that's just a thing you can do, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so yeah, done that. So now, you know how we just had the long corridor, that classic, uh, oh, nice, that classic FPS uh, tradition. Well, here's another one. Waiting for a lift. Yep, just just gotta wait for a lift. Oh god, I should have reloaded before. Okay, screw it. Just gotta run, just gotta run. Because here's the thing. I already tried to record this part, but it didn't go well. So now I'm re-recording it. And uh, I wasn't <laughs> doing too great at the game. Oh god. And part of the reason is this section right here took me forever. Because you start off, you hit that lift button, and then a stupid amount of enemies spawn. And then you basically, there's a set amount, and you just have to go around and kill them all. And then you can get in the lift and do the next section. But, God, it's so annoying. If you try and hold out by the lift, you're just, it doesn't happen. You just get shot. There's no, it looks like there's cover there, but there's really not. They just walk around you. But when you have like a lift like that, that you got to press a button, you would assume that's what you got to do, right? Like... You would assume, okay, there looks like there's a bit of cover here. I'll just stay here and hold out. But I just found it just never worked out. You just get surrounded and killed. So instead, what you got to do is run up here, or you can run up on the right side, and just hold out this area. Because there's enough cover, and then you can pick up bullets as well that you can... Oh dear, that's just embarrassing. Yeah, there's enough cover where you can actually, you know, kill everyone without being surrounded. And also, if you restart the checkpoint, or when I restarted the checkpoint, um, I didn't have a machine gun. I had a the pistol, rocket launcher, because I picked that up last time, Bond, and the sniper. Cool. You didn't see nothing. Yeah, so it was really bloody annoying, and it just, I was like, I gotta, I can't. I can't put this online. <laughs> I can't expect people to actually watch this. Alright, well, looks like uh, the time for stealthing is over. Good thing I got a really good weapon. This weapon's great. Just with the ACOD scope as well. I didn't find this last time when I played it. And also, it's quite funny. <laughs> Just to give you a comparison to why I threw away 
my original recording of this. It's because I stopped on this part, or when I got here, and I was at 29 minutes. So, really quite embarrassing. You know, embarrassing all round. Oh god, nope. Nope, stop it, stop it. I'm trying to lay my super future explosives. I think they're meant to look like um, the remote mines from the film, but they wanted a new futuristic twist on them, so they added in like a little, you know, little screen rather than three red dots. Okay, then well, let's go enter the cradle. Oh god. Ah, back in, back in cover. <laughs> I did. Those enemies sure love to spawn at a moment's notice. That guy tried to do a cool guy roll, but it just didn't happen for him. I feel bad. I wouldn't... If I was in a gunfight, the last thing I would do is roll out of the way of bullets. Like, I can't roll that quickly. Like, you can dive. I would probably do a cheeky dive, but I would never just roll. Never do, like, a roly-poly to get away. You just can't... You look ridiculous, and you're just slowing yourself down, if anything. I'm not an acrobat. I can't... I can't do it. Alright, well, we're now going to have to run, oh god, okay, well, you know what, I think it's time to end off the part, so, next time in Let's Play GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, we're going to not get slaughtered on that section, fingers crossed, so, I've been Tom 23 don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.